Biceps curls are a great way to get your swole on. Shoulder blades back and down, and the elbows should be just slightly away from the body so that you're stabilizing your position with your shoulder muscles rather than driving your elbows into the waist. You'll get much more out of this exercise if you hold the elbows slightly away, curling up, and down. Stabilize the core throughout the exercise. Shoulder blades back and down, abdominal muscles nice and tight. Increase that intra-abdominal pressure by imagining you are packing your air down into your abdomen so the movement here is in the arm and in the shoulder. Other than driving the weights into the side of the body, the number one mistake we see people doing is arching the spine because the weights are too heavy. If you have to lean back, it's a good sign that your weights are way too heavy for you today. Simple solution? level down so you can actually get more out of the exercise. We're not looking for a backache, we're looking for strong guns. You'll encounter lots of different biceps curls in class. The simple and traditional biceps curl. Make sure to challenge your range all the way up and all the way down, keeping time under tension throughout the exercise. The second is hammer curls with palms facing in towards one another. We do this a lot of times for a narrow movement and also to challenge the forearm and upper arm muscles in a slightly different way. Next are cross body curls. This is a rotational movement for the shoulder, a little less intense on the bicep, so you could tend to be able to use a slightly heavier weight for this one. It's a great way to get your heart rate down and still get your pump on in the middle of a big class. You'll also see in and out curls, where we curl to the front and then curl to the side. The point here is to challenge your muscles and your joints in all ranges of motion, applying the load so that your body can adapt to that and be able to tolerate more stress in the rest of your life. Your body builds muscle really differently in a static hold, so oftentimes in class, you'll find the same alignment, elbow away from the body in the arm with the static hold while you curl on the other side. Sometimes full range of motion or sometimes even just half, working the short range or working the long range of your muscle. Adding these into your class and using proper execution, you'll get a ton out of it. So pick the weight that's right for you and enjoy your class.